Hello! Welcome to the Presence Park Greenhouse at George Mason University. I am your tour guide, Donnie Nolan. I work for the Office of Sustainability here at George Mason and I run the uh, Greenhouse and Gardens program. So this is our hydroponic greenhouse where we use hydroponics, meaning that we're growing food with no soil so that we can serve it at the dining halls. So this is the freshest, most local food available on campus. It actually gets walked over to the dining halls every week when we harvest. And then students, faculty, and staff, and visitors can eat this really fresh, delicious food. So we have some lettuce growing, some herbs like cilantro, basil. We have some Swiss chard, parsley. We're trying some chives. We have some mint as well. So I want to go over what makes uh, hydroponics more sustainable. So um, this type of, of hydroponics is known as NFT, short for nutrient film technique. And you can see how the water would flow down the channel in a very thin film. This channel is very shallow. And these are the roots that grow in that film of water without any soil. So they are growing in this plug, as they're called, which is made of a soilless medium, um, like ingredients such as uh, peat moss and coconut core. That allows us to start our seed in something and then move the transplant over to the channel where it grows to maturity. We also have an automated system over here. So the way that hydroponics works is we have a stock tank that is full of our water. And this fur troller, as it's called, automatically controls the fertilizer and the pH level. So my plants are always getting watered automatically and the pH level and the fertilizer is getting replaced automatically. Now typically, fertilizer from agriculture is a huge source of pollution. In fact, in the Gulf of Mexico, there's a dead zone because of all the fertilizer uh, running down with the storm water when it rains ending up down the Mississippi River and um, ends up becoming a huge pollution problem that actually kills the aquatic life. So with this system, all the water and nutrients is contained in our stock tank and none of this water ever escapes into the watershed or into our rivers and into the ocean. So that is a huge factor. There's also no weeding. So as you can see, there's no chance for weeds to grow. There's no bare soil. We're also in a greenhouse here, so we're protected from deer and squirrels and things. Um, and on average, these plants are growing three to five times faster. So we're getting a really good turnover. Ooh, I can also fit a lot in a small space. So these channels, I can actually just pull them right out and then I can access the plants uh, without bending down. I don't have to dig, I don't have to till, I don't have to pull any weeds. That's a huge amount of time and labor that I save um, and chemicals I don't need to use um, in order to grow this food in a lot less time and a lot less space. Now you can grow absolutely anything with hydroponics. So for example, here I have our tomato beds and they are growing in what's called a media bed. So instead of uh, soil, instead of that short NFT channel, I have these grow stones, um, which you could use rock or other material, but these grow stones are very lightweight. Um, they're basically sculpted um, to be round so they don't hurt, and um, they work really good for any kind of plant that's going to need a lot of roots. So you could grow entire trees in hydroponics as long as you have the right setup. So with my tomatoes here, I have a really good system where I can fit about 30 tomato vines in this small four by four foot bed. Um, and hydroponics is a big reason for that. The fertilizer is supplied in the water, so I don't need a large amount of soil to provide the fertilizer that tomatoes need, because they need a lot. Um, and I also have them on strings and clips in a system where I lower them and I add clips every day. These vines grow about a foot a week. So I have to get up on my ladder here and I have to work on adding clips and lowering them because they just grow so fast. Um, but this is really, I also do a pruning method where I remove all the side stems that would grow so that each vine is only one plant. And that way I can fit a lot of tomatoes in a small space. Um, more space saving qualities, this is our microgreen rack. So microgreens are kind of like sprouts but you're not eating the root. So they're very food safe because you're not eating the root. Here we're growing them on burlap, 
which is uh, replaces soil in the system. And this is that same NFT system where there's just a shallow amount of water. Microgreens grow in two to three weeks, so it's very fast. This is our cash crop. This really helps our greenhouse to be uh, financially stable. And we're able to stack these systems. We're fitting a lot more in a small space. I also have some vertical channels here. It's a brand new system I set up where we have um, channels with plants growing vertically. Now you'll see I have a lot of um, pest issues right now that um, typically I would add a uh, predator that would naturally eat the aphids so I wouldn't have to spray them. So we're working on developing a better process for that. But these channels also allow you to fit a lot more in a small space. I do have grow lights um, for them as well. So. With hydroponics, the capital cost is really high to get it started. It's very technical. It does rely on fossil fuels, but there are greenhouses that can be more sustainable. It's faster, it's less labor in the long run. It's a lot more sustainable for all of those reasons. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I will um, answer any questions you might have. Thank you for watching.